it's an ostrich. It's past the morning, okay? Hey, chill, bro. <laughs>
the attack. Thank you.
So, we'll get straight into it. The first reptile we're going to meet, his name is Speedy. Does everyone want to take a guess of why his name is Speedy? He's fast. He's really fast. Last week's show when I put him on the ground here, he's going to go on the front row. I think you'll get a cake because he can't drop around this morning. Alright, so just watch your legs when I put him out. Okay? Go Speedy, go! <laughs> he's pretty quick, isn't he? Yeah. All right. Well, you know, Speedy's actually really, really well trained. I taught him a really cool trick. Do you guys want to see it? Yeah. Okay, you ready? Speedy, stay. <laughs> South Australia, everyone's got a different name for Speedy. What do we call it? Stuffy Tail Tour. Stuffy Tail Tour. Do you want to pay for Kenneth Thomas' video? Everyone's got a different name for him. I think we're going to have a look, but don't worry about Pascal. You guys will be able to do the hunt at the end of the show, so we'll just save that to the end, alright? Yeah, Speedy is pretty close. Out in the wild. London with food. He's got to protect himself. He uses his tail. So, out in the wild, guys, we'll just do packs at the end, alright? Exactly. So, when a big bird or lizard comes along and wants to turn Speedy into their large, really like perfectly still, he won't move. He'll keep his head still, but he'll wiggle his back tail. He'll lift it up and wiggle it around, making them think it's his head. So when they come along and take a bite out of his head, he gets to turn around and take a bite out of them. Oh my God. Tricks him. But does anyone know why their tongues are blue? Same reason giraffe's tongues are blue. Anyone want to take a guess? Yes, it does protect them from what? Sun, exactly. No one ever gets them. So good job. Yeah, so having a blue tongue is having an inbuilt sunscreen. Giraffe's tongue is always outside of their mouth grabbing leaves from the treetops. These guys are always sticking their tongue out. He's just got it sitting there at the moment. There you go. But yeah, if these guys' tongue was pink like ours, they would be getting sunburned. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Alright, so we've got a couple of well, we've got one of the dragons here. I thought so you guys have all seen a bearded dragon before, if not in real life, a picture of one of them. But this is Baz. Baz is one of our bearded dragons. He is our friendly bearded dragon. Just packs to the end, guys. We just said packs at the end, alright? So Baz here. I'm sorry. I'm just texting the head. We saved all the padding at the end, alright? You guys will all be out to say hi to someone. So Bass here is our friendly bearded dragon. We do have another one, her name is Godzilla. She's just a grumpy dog. <laughs> we did try to put them together one time, maybe have some little ones, hoping for some romance, but Godzilla just tried eating Baz. So maybe she's there. But you can see he looks a lot different to Speedy. He's covered in all his spines. Um, it's a lot different from Speedy. And why is there a pickup there? Why is there a pickup there, mommy? Mm -mm -mm. A That's a metal pen. These guys need to get away on land really quickly. Dragons have very, very strong back legs, so these guys can just get up on their two back legs just like we can. And they just run on their back legs. And they use their tail to help them balance and steer yeah, They're really quick. But if you guys were to ever see a bear dragon out in the wild, 90% of the time they're sitting up nice and high in the treetops or close somewhere. What are they looking for? Food. Food. What do you think? Baz's favourite thing to eat. Spiders. Spiders. He doesn't mind spiders. Ants. Ants. Insects. What kind of insects would Baz eat? Moths. Flies. Yes. Yes. Um, if Baz is quick enough, he will eat my slow, but he's got to be pretty on his game. Yeah, so we've got another dragon. 
के बाहर का आने का This this gorgeous girl here is Dragon Lady. She is our Gippsland Water Dragon. So you can see she looks a lot different to Bass. She has a nice long tail which she uses for swimming. She's an awesome swimmer, but she's even better at holding her breath. Take a guess at how long she can hold her breath for. More than two minutes. More than fifty-three minutes. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. How long? Ten minutes. More than ten minutes. Oh my God. More than ten minutes. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. How many minutes can she hold her breath? Nine. Nine. That's one and a half hours. Yeah. That's a half. That's a whole hour plus a half an hour. Yeah. 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 Yes, you are. Oh, oh my God! Mommy. So this guy here, this the guys. This guy here, this guy here is Mr. Wiggles. Name is Mr. Wiggles because he is moving around 24/7. I barely ever see him sleeping. He's always, he's always on the go. But Mr. Wiggles here is our Darwin carpet python. So these guys are exceptionally good tree climbers. Mr. Wiggles is friendly most of the time. He's done some the show, mate. He's just over at the end of the show, right? Um, but yeah, these guys are great tree climbers. You can see he's pretty comfortable up here around my arm. Wow, look at this. Wow. These guys are one of these guys are the smallest carpet species we have. The biggest ones can be about three Mommy. meters long, and the biggest python we have is only about ten meters long. Maybe you can do it. That's why it looks like there was lots of lizards in there. Oh. That's why. Right. There's actually just one lizard and the water. Oh, yeah. 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 I, I think I know how so, it's come shape. How it is. We do you have one more part if you guys say hi to and you guys will be able to get the pack at the very end after a little walk around. Oh, So this gorgeous girl here is Ruffle Snakeskin. You can see she is very different in colour to Mr. Wiggles. They are the exact same species of python. She is just albino. She is our albino Darwin carpet python. So they have identical markings, well, similar to identical, but she is just the albino one. Um, these guys find it very hard to survive in the wild, standing out like a neon sign. When they're little, they think they're camouflaged when they're wrapped around a branch, but obviously they are not. Um, but now I'm going to ask, does anyone know the difference between pythons and snakes? Why are they pythons and not snakes? They're hooded snakes. Close. They can still bite, but you're on the right track. What the snakes have, the pythons don't. 
There we go, so snakes have venom. A lot of people will just call these guys snakes. They're different, just like cats and dogs are different. So, snakes have their two fangs where they inject the venom and their prey runs off and they go track them down to eat. These guys can shrink, so they grab hold of their prey and don't let go of their prey. So instead of having their two fangs, lions have lots and lots of teeth in their mouth. How many teeth do they have? More than 59. More than 100. Pythons have about 200 teeth in their mouth. Oh, wow. And I think I know, I think I know these, the shape of the African snake. Mommy, I think I know the shape of the So when she does grab hold of a mouse or rat running past, they're not getting away. <laughs> <laughs> That was the last one. So, I'll give everyone a chance to come up, say hi to Rumble Lee. You can all come give her a pat as well as Baz up here the dragon. I just asked what you do for the city of Handy Wash. These guys can carry plenty of salmonella and a lot of germs on their skin. So, just give your hand to wash it after, give them a pat, alright? Uh, but yeah, you guys can make a line and come up.
good with animals. I'm going to the house right now. I'm going to get a uh, 